Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough on WGU Student Portal. I feel like I should have made this video a long time ago, um, but I'm really excited to share with you the new features that the Student Portal has and also reference some really great resources that I think you'll find interesting as a student. Before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So once you've logged in, this is basically what your homepage will look like. Um, this is my mentor's information right here. Um, I don't have any courses registered at the moment because um, I'm just getting started, um, but I will soon. So um, once you have courses that are already that you're taking, they'll show up right here. We've got term progress. This just tells me how many weeks remaining. And then as it gets closer to like days, like after like maybe a week left, it'll say like five days left or something like that. Um, this is competency units, how many I've completed for this term. This is how much of my program I've completed. And again, it shows it in terms as well. And then this is my graduation goal. And um, right here, this is all of my courses that I've that I will be taking. If they're active, they'll show up here on active. If I've completed some of them, they'll show up right here. And then you can just click this for all. So that is basically the homepage. You also have some very important buttons. You have courses, degree plans, success centers, and student support. So I'm gonna click on courses. These are all the courses that I have to take um, this term. So I'm getting ready to take those, but um, you can click where you left off and it'll take you to the current course that you're on. Um, so this is just an, ex an example. This is my first course that I'll be taking. Um, I can't really view, I mean, I can kind of view some stuff, but I can't really click on anything because I'm in preview mode. And what this means is if you haven't started a course yet, you won't be able to really access all the content and the material until you really registered for it. Um, I haven't started registering yet because I'm waiting to hear back from my mentor. Um, but once I'm registered and ready to go, there'll be a button up here that says start course. I'll click it and then I'll start the course. So as you can see, this is the degree plan. These are the courses that I have yet to start and I will start as soon as I get back to my mentor on this. Um, but you can also click right here and it'll show all the classes that you've already completed, um, which there are a lot for me because I'm almost done. Yay. <laughs> um, right here, this kind of shows you um, how many competency units you've completed and what your current term is. Um, I know that I've got a lot, but I'm really hoping to finish this all within hopefully February or March. Um, again, here's my graduation goal and then my field experience. So your field experience page, this page really is going to help you get started. Now, I've already completed all this, but once you are officially starting with this, um, it's going to say all of this kind of stuff and it'll probably not be completed, but mine's already completed. Um, so this is all the stuff that you have to complete to be able to do PCE and direct teaching. Um, as I said, I've already took all of these. I'm just waiting for my background check to come in. Um, but you've got basic skills tests, you've got all these things you have to sign and whatnot. I'll make videos for these. Don't get um, overwhelmed as to what you have to complete. I'll kind of break it down for you in those videos. Um, but this is where you can find your field experience um, sort of stuff. Heading back over to the degree plan. Um, this is where you can also change your graduation goal. I just wanted to make that clear. Um, so you could click it and you could change it to something else um, right here. That's the only thing I wanted to, to tell you. If we go here, this success centers, we have academic coaching center. I've actually made a video about this and I'll link this down below because it's really more in depth. It's got a lot of stuff um, that would really make this video really, really long. Um, but this basically has a lot of stuff um, to really help you as a student, lots of resources, and just provides um, some live events. Again, I'll post the video down below for you. You also have access to the library, the Career and Professional Development Center, and the Personal Learning Guide. I think I've mentioned this in a few other videos. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on it to show you what it looks like for me. So they've added this new section because I'm almost done with my degree and now I'm getting ready to move into the career readiness uh, program. Um, but these I've talked about in my orientation videos, um, which I'll link down below for you. Um, so I've already completed all these. Actually, I completed this during orientation. Um, and I'll go ahead and get started on this soon. Um, but that is what that looks like. Coming back to success centers, if you click on Career and Professional Development Center, it's going to take you to this um, WUG page, which it gives you more information as to what kind of career stuff you can expect. Um, but once you kind of get in with the WUG program, you get a lot of emails about um, professional development and career and all that kind of stuff. So um, you can definitely refer to that. I've only used the library a couple of times when I had to like write papers and when some of my material has been on ebooks and stuff. They've got lots of um, resources here, so databases, and you can search for a particular item, um, ebooks. I've used this as well um, just to gather support for papers and whatnot. So this is just um, really helpful. They do everything is completely online, which is great. Next, we have student support, and this has a lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, we have student services, disability services, student well-being, um, IT service desk, assessment services, financial, student life, contact, WGU, and field experience. I've really done field experience. Um, I'm going to head over to student services just to show you what that kind of looks like. Um, always on this side, you can find um, information about if you need more help. Um, if you need to contact someone about questions that you may have about a particular page, it'll always be here on the right. You've got lots of stuff here that just really helps you to, um, as a student, um, withdrawal requests, term break. I've used this when I had to take a term break um, due to some unforeseen circumstances that were beyond my control. Um, so I had to take a term break and that's where I access this form right here. You have the student support area, which is great if you need support, particularly with a degree or with your own information or just general kind of questions. And you also have the handbook, so it's right here to access for you. Um, but as you can see on this side, it's basically the same options that we had here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on disability services. Um, you can definitely request accommodations um, for really anything, um, which is great. They do have that option if you're interested or if you need to. Well-being resources is um, this is great because um, we've got they've got like therapy, they've got like finan a financial help or legal help or things like that, which is really great. Um, I think I've talked about this on my other videos as well. Um, and of course, they do have their own blog. They talk about lots of um, well-being topics as well. The IT service desk is very helpful. Um, they've got some frequently uh, stuff. So if you need a particular help, like maybe in one of these topics, you can click it. Um, again, here's some more stuff that they've got. Again, this is all the um, discussion boards, which is great. You can find a particular question that maybe or a problem that you're having. You can definitely check here. And then again, you've got um, your help. You've got like the phone number, which I highly recommend. They're very, very friendly and helpful. <laughs> They've helped me on several occasions. So this is new. They've got a new system for their objective assessment. And then as I said, performance assessments as well can also help you right here, which I really like this. I really wish I had this at the start of my uh, journey, but it's all right. I really like how they've really upgraded this area. Financial services, um, this is just basically where you fill out all your important um, stuff. As you can see, my stuff is pending and all that kind of stuff. Um, again, they've got some helpful links right here, which is great. Military support scholarships is great if you want to go ahead and apply for scholarships at WG, which is great. I always try and do this um, as often as possible. And then student life is very interesting. You've got their blog, their newsletter, their video channel, the campus store, which I love. Um, special discounts for students. I've mentioned this for quite a lot. And a contact page is perfect for all their services and stuff they've got going on, um, which is really great as well. And then it brings back us to field experience. So these are all the requirements. Like I mentioned, this is new. You've got applied for preclinical experience approved, all that kind of stuff, full acceptance, whatever, which I think is great. Um, and then we've got a place for absences just in case um, I would be somehow absent for a day during my teaching hours. 
And then on this side, like on the side where you click your name, it has some information about um, you personally and how you can customize this page a little bit more to your liking with light text or whatnot. Um, and they also have your information as well. That is basically how you can navigate the student portal. I really think it's a more updated version of a student portal. And I really like how they've changed some stuff, which I love. I think it's great. And I also love how they've um, really changed some stuff too. So I'm really excited um, to see how you guys will like this down below, comment, question, whatever. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to just jump back in. Like I said, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye everyone.